As personal trainers, we're used to helping our clients achieve their fitness goals and get healthier, no matter what they look like when we first meet them. But sometimes, clients may have things going on that we can't see. I have a bleeding disorder. That means my blood doesn't clot as well as most people's. Although I'm okay with everyday cuts and bruises, the condition means I can bleed into my joints and muscles, sometimes without knowing it, which can be really painful. There are treatments to make the blood clot more normally. Most are injected directly into the blood, either to prevent bleeds from happening or to treat them once they've started. My bleeding condition was inherited, so I've had to live with it since I was a kid, which means I know how to manage it, as well as when I need to be extra careful. In the past, people with bleeding disorders were advised not to exercise or play sport, but today this is encouraged as strong muscles support joints and joint health. Some have achieved some amazing things like taking part in Ironman and Tough Mudder contests, competing in international cycling contests and swimming in the Olympics. One even conquered Mount Everest. For most people with bleeding disorders, being fit and active is an achievable goal but some people may be a bit hesitant about exercising. They might have joint damage because they didn't have access to proper treatment in the past, or they may have had operations that can affect participation in exercise. So it's important to take a lead from the patient as most of them will know their limits. I'm the person to ask about how my condition affects me when I'm exercising. There may be times when I really can't push myself too hard. Most people with a bleeding disorder will regularly see a physiotherapist who supports them to keep their joints and body as healthy as possible. The physio will usually be happy to work with you in designing a programme or to respond to any questions or concerns. My physio may say that it's best to avoid activities with a higher injury risk, such as contact sports, especially if the contact could be with my head. Let's face it, accidents happen. As with any other client, if someone with a bleeding disorder gets injured in the gym, just think P-R-I-C-E, which you'll have learned in your PT training. And if that kettlebell on the foot moment happens, you should do what you do normally and follow your gym's policies and protocols. Just like any other client, someone with a bleeding disorder will be looking to work with you to design a programme that's personal to them to help them to get fit, be healthy and have fun.